It's time for another raw vlog. Oh yes, uh, I am doing a raw vlog. Um, I got a big problem with my uh, computer, which is down here. Just move the panel out of the way for the time being. Okay. Okay, here's the computer. It's all turned off as you do. Okay, anyway, let's go long walk. Situation. Um, I'll show you what happens in a minute. The VGA cable is connected to that monitor down there, the DVI cable is connected to this 3D monitor, which is here by LG. Okay, the power cable is in okay, but it's when I turn the power cable on, or when I turn the power on. Okay, all the P the PC lights up all right, just fine. The hard drive disk runs okay. The fan or the piece uh, processor fan is spinning okay. But the situation comes, nothing it displays on the monitor. The monitor is on. This monitor is also turned on, but there is an amber light down the bottom. That's my light split, by the way. Um, everything is okay apart from. The display ports. The display ports is not showing any picture on the screen. And what I don't understand, how comes the fan is running perfectly on the motherboard? The fan is clearly spinning. I can hear it. You can actually hear the all the. You can. Yes, you definitely hear the. The fans, you definitely hear the the hard drive. It's quite too cool down there. Okay, the VGA, as you can see, the VGA cable and the DVI cable is plugged in. Okay, so let me from the back. You see, it's plugged in. Okay, but nothing is is displaying on the. monitor right so okay I have got take have taken out the the memory chips but even without the memory chips uh, it should at least run the monitors telling to insert the chips or the, the memory even when they had the memory chips in Nothing was explaining coming on on the screen. I need to get the same motherboard or something similar that would run my for my chipset. Um, I think it's the this one's the PCI seventy five MA P forty five. Okay, and it. I think it's eleven fifty five for the for the i seven. It's the i seven eleven fifty five um ch the chipset. Okay, I need to get that same. It has to be the same chipset to be able to use my old components, especially for the 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 i seven. It has to be the right chipset for the i seven. I've got that in the moment. Um, doesn't really explain in there. But if I show you, actually download downloaded the well print actually printed out the manual um, about a week ago now. I'm just going to the um, page now. Okay, does it say here? Yeah, the processor, um, LGA, 
11, 11.55 socket I have to get the same um, motherboard I have to get a mother or at least get a motherboard which is the sa which will have the LGA LM55 it has to be the same um, chipset to be able to use that i7 I've got in there at the moment um, other than that it, it seems it seems to run okay but display ports it's not working I thought if the if the motherboard is definitely dead um, none of these other components like the fan and the lights should that that shouldn't even be running but it, but it is everything is inserted okay at the moment I've just got the the power cable get over here just got the power cable that is connected you see here that's the power cable you got other power goes into here I've got the cables that will run for the on off switch that's running okay the BIOS um, battery is in okay but in terms of getting the monitors to run it doesn't this is the onboard um uh graphics card graphics card i do have another um graphics card in there that was inserted in there but even that doesn't it, it um even that display port doesn't work um I don't understand if, how come the motherboard if the motherboard is truly dead I think it is truly dead um why does all the other components work it all started when this fan was plugged in that lights up by the way was plugged in into one of those um um, where is it? That that switch down there. They plug the fan. It's similar to one that is down down there. Okay. When that goes in, that to, it, it, the, when that was plugged into that um sort down there, um it suddenly just turned off like it was overheating. Okay. It switched off to be be on the safe side. Normally that doesn't mean straight away your motherboard is blown. Because you get firm shutdowns on the computer when it reheats. But it doesn't necessarily mean the motherboard is dead. If you understand what I mean. But for motherboards on the computer, it's slightly different, I think. Uh, it's just this nothing it is this blown on the screen I can't I won't be able to get to the BIOS settings if the mo uh, at all because of the display ports I'm gonna hopefully because it's cheaper buy the same motherboard again because it's one of the cheapest motherboards um one of the cheapest motherboards has got like six SATA cables or six, six SATA um slots one of the cheap motherboards that is built for Windows 8 one of those motherboards I can get at least 32 gigs of RAM well I can't do anything until I get paid hopefully it will be sorted pretty soon in the new future hopefully on the Friday and I will speak to you later on thank you and that's what I got time for the video for today but I have to say this before I go thank you for liking and sharing this video and all my other videos across the YouTube spectrum. Bye bye. Bye bye for now. Bye. Bye. Wolf Log is over. Bye.